Hi then guys, Gary here. I just wanted to give a quick update on the performance of the batteries uh, after connecting the two of them together. Um, I've seen a couple of comments that have actually been uh, quite helpful and have made me kind of rethink the best method of uh, setting it up. Now I could leave it as it is and it would be absolutely fine. I have the two batteries here which gives me I suppose about 26, I think it's 26 and a half uh, kilowatt hours usable um the way i kind of have it set up so getting myself through the year with that on top of the small amount of solar that would be generated based on my home usage for the most part that would be absolutely fine now um to the point of this video the way i have these guys connected up they're daisy chained together and as i said that suits my use i wouldn't necessarily have to change anything but i do want the batteries to be used equally uh, so i don't want one strain to be greater than the strain on the next battery and as it is with it being daisy chained there's a greater strain on the first battery um when there's a draw on the batteries uh, the greater draw is on the first battery now i know i could change the way they're linked up as in the way they're daisy chains um but there is a method that i do want to set it up um and i'll explain that in just a moment but before i do i'll just show you what i'm talking about here okay so just to show you what's uh happening here if we look at the battery draw at the moment it's uh just over two kilowatts it's kind of jumping up and down in the house at the moment people are kind of going back and forward looking at the current on battery one it's coming in at uh, just over one and a half amps there and straight over the battery two i have no draw back over to battery one i have the 1.8 and again, battery two, I'm not drawing anything. So basically we're not really drawing anything from battery two until we get above kind of three or four amps. And that essentially means that there's gonna be more strain, uh, more use um, on battery one than there will be on battery two. Obviously the problem there is that battery one will degrade more quickly than battery two because there's a greater strain more frequently on battery one than it will be on battery two. So here are my thoughts and I'd like your opinions on this. What I'm thinking is I'm going to be adding another battery more than likely by the end of this year. If I simply daisy chain it as I've done here, right? what's going to happen is there's going to be even less of a strain on battery three and any subsequent batteries that I may or may not add, um, the first battery is going to have the greatest strain on it. In order to equalize the pressure, the strain on each battery, I'm going to need to go down the route of bus bars. Now, if I go down the route of bus bars, ideally I'll want to be isolating them. This is um, a 125 amp, uh, DC uh, photovoltaic uh, miniature cir circuit breaker. Uh, so my plan was to either above or below um, run the battery cables uh, through its own individual circuit breaker, um, then connect to a buzz bar and run along here where I'll have another circuit breaker here which will finally connect to the inverter. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is whether it's best to go above uh, or below. And I'll be adding the buzz bars kind of um, connecting, you know, so let's say a one or 1.2 meter buzz bar uh, or three or four foot buzz bar, um, you know, where I'll, I'll connect them onto each other so I can kind of stack the batteries along if I want. But should I go above or should I go below? The problem with above is space, okay? Although I've been built these cabinets with plenty of space, I'm not really gonna have enough space here, as you can see, and I'm definitely not gonna be able to turn it around this way. And also with access, I'm gonna have a door on here. If I need it for any reason to quickly isolate the battery, I think going above, although I'd have the cables much shorter, it would be a lot cheaper doing it that way um it wouldn't be as safe or as convenient perhaps after everything is done if i were to go below all right so here we are below the cabinets now 
it'll be a bit of a pain in the butt to get these uh, buzz bars under here and run the cable so my cable runs will be a little bit longer and it'll be just a little bit kind of more awkward doing it you won't even see the buzz bars they're going to be under here i'll probably uh, you know seal them off with a cover i'm not really sure um exactly what i will do um yeah i'm just kind of thinking out loud here what do you guys think should i go above uh or go below or should i go above above <laughs> i could probably squash circuit breaker up here um but I, I really don't know what to do. Um, help me figure this one out. Let me know what you think. And uh, guys, if you've been getting anything from this channel, I know some people have, uh, please uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really stuck here on what I, what I should do, uh, where I should be running the buzz bars and when I should get a third battery. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.